Let us consider the binary convolutional encoder figure which is shown below and obtain the state table, state transition table, state diagram. The code tree and encode the message D is equal to 10011 using the code tree. And the given convolutional encoder is like this. And we have already solved the state table, the state transition table and the state diagram in the previous video. The link for the same can be found in the description below. Now in this tutorial, we are going to learn about the code tree and encode the message D is equal to 10011 using the code tree. This is what we'll be learning in this particular video now. In the question, it is given that the message D is equal to 10011. This needs to be encoded. This implies the length of the given message is 5 bits. Then the length of the encoded sequence will be equal to n into L plus M, where from the encoding circuit we have n and m value, where n is equal to 2 and m is also equal to 2. This results in the length of the output sequence is equal to 14 bits. So for the given 5 bit message, the length of the encoded sequence will be equal to 14 bits. We have already written the state diagram. From this state diagram, we can write the code tree. We have to note that the length of the message is 5 bits. Hence, the number of stages in the code tree that we are going to write should have five stages. Before we proceed, let us make this particular convention. Every time the input is zero, we will be moving in upwards direction. Similarly, if the input happens to be one, then we will be moving in the down direction. Power on reset, the very first state we have will be the state S0 that I am representing here. Now, from the state diagram, we have state S0 here. So, look at this. If the input is 0 for state S0, if the input is 0, then the next state will be S0 only and the corresponding output is 0, 0. So, let me draw this first. So, look at this. If the input is 0, then the next state is S0. Similarly, for the present state S0, if the input is 1, the next state will be S1. So, according to our convention, if the input is 1, I should be moving in the down direction and the next state is S1. And the corresponding output for the upward direction is 0, 0. Let me write that 0, 0 here. And S0 to S1 transition results in an output 1, 1. In this stage, we have two possibilities of states. One is S0, other one is S1. Hence, we know what will be the next state and output for S0. I'll draw this from S0 to S0 if the input is 0, S0 to S1 if the input is 1 and the corresponding outputs are 0, 0 and 1, 1. Now, for present state S1, look at S1, S1 is here. If the input is 0, then the next state will be S2. And if the input is 1, the next state will be S3. Let me draw this in the code tree. So, from S1, if the input is 0, I'll be moving in the upwards direction and the next state is S2. Similarly, if the input is 1, I'll be moving in the down direction and the next state is S3. And the corresponding outputs, look at this, the corresponding outputs for 0 input, the output is 1, 0. So, let me write this. Similarly, for 
one input the output is 0 1 that is transition from s1 to s3 the output is 0 1 so we have the outputs like this since we know the corresponding outputs and the next states for s0 and s1 let me quickly draw this from s0 we have s0 and s1 as the next stage and the corresponding outputs are 0 0 and 1 1 similarly for s1 present state the next two states possible are s2 and s3 with corresponding outputs 1 0 and 0 1 now we have a new state s2 let us look at state s2 if s2 is the present state and if the input is 0, the corresponding next state will be S0. So, let me draw this. So, we have the next state as S0 if the input is 0. I am moving in the upward direction. Similarly, when I am in state S2, if input is 1, then I will be going to state s1 so i'm moving in down direction and the next state is s1 the corresponding outputs for transition s2 to s0 is 1 1 so let me write that here similarly the transition from s2 to s1 s2 to s1 for input 1 is output is equal to 0 0 let me write that output here okay now we have another state s3 so this is state s3 if the input is 0 the corresponding next state will be s2 similarly for the present state S3, if the input is 1, the next state will be S3 only. So, these are the next states for present state S3. And the corresponding output for S3 to S2 transition is 0, 1. Similarly, S3 to S3 transition is 1 0 so till now we have completed three stages but the length of the message is five so we should be proceeding ahead two more stages so let me quickly write the next stage and its corresponding outputs for s naught the next state will be s naught and S1 with outputs 0, 0 and 1, 1. For state S1, the next state will be S2 and S3 with corresponding outputs 1, 0 and 0, 1. Similarly, for present state S2, the next states possible are S0 and S1 with corresponding outputs 1, 1 and 0 0 for state s3 the next state possible are s2 and s3 with corresponding outputs 0 1 and 1 0 similarly for the bottom branch we have s0 present state whose next states will be s1 s0 and s1 with output 0 0 and 1 1 Similarly, for S1, we have the next states as S2 and S3 with outputs 1, 0 and 0, 1. For S2, we have the next states as S0 and S1 with output 1, 1 and 0, 0 respectively. Finally, for state S3, we have the next states S2 and S3 with corresponding output 0, 1 and 1, 0 respectively now four stages are complete i am supposed to draw one more stage as the length of the message is five bits so let me quickly draw this only with the outputs i am going to 
denoted. So these are the corresponding outputs from each transitions. Okay, so I'm done with drawing the code tree with five stages. Now that we have drawn the code tree for five stages, let us try to encode the message. Remember, this is our initial state. So from here, we are going to begin the message given and the encoded output we are going to tabulate. We know the given message and we should obtain the encoded output. The given message, let us take it one bit at a time. So the first bit is one. So the direction that I'm going to take is this one. So beginning from here, since the input is one, I need to move down and the encoded sequence obtained here is one one. And the present state would be S one now. This one one is the encoded output. Let me note it down and tabulate it here. So for the present message bit one, we have got two bit output for the message one. The encoded sequence is one one. Now, the current state is S1 and the input is 0. Since the input is 0, we need to move in the up direction. And the corresponding output is 1, 0. So this 1, 0, I'm going to note it down in the encoded output. So the present output is 1, 0. This 1, 0. I'm writing it down here. The present state is S2. And the corresponding input that I'm supposed to encode now is 0. 0 needs to be encoded means I'll be moving in up direction. And the corresponding output that I'm getting now is 1, 1. So this 1, 1, I'm going to note it in the encoded output. So the encoded sequence is 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 for now. The next message bit is 1. Since 1 needs to be encoded, I'll be moving in the downward direction. And this is the sequence. I have the encoded output as 1, 1. This 1, 1, I'm going to copy it and write it down here as the encoded output. The next message bit is 1. So I'll be moving in downward direction. And the corresponding output that I've got is 0, 1. The 0, 1, I'm going to note it and write it down here. Now, look at this. As we have seen in the beginning, for the 5-bit message input, we are supposed to get 10 bit output, but count the number of bits that we have got now 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is equal to 10 bits. We are falling short of two more bits, uh, I mean, four more bits. The reason is the number of stages in shift register is equal to 2, means to say whatever message has entered inside the encoding circuit has not yet completely done with encoding. So we need to proceed ahead another m number of stages. Here, since m is equal to 2, we are supposed to proceed another two stages and draw the sequence. And we also should note that we don't have any more message input. That's the reason I'm going to just put the message as just a dash, means to say it is as good as a zero. Now, the present state is S3. From here, I'm going to take two more transitions with corresponding output 0 and 1. Since 1 can never be the input, I'm going to stop with state S2 only with the corresponding output 0, 1. But since the number of stages in shift register was 2 and I've taken only one extension from here, one more extension need to be taken from S2 with corresponding input as only 0. 
one will never come that's the reason we are going to write like this so the corresponding output from transition s2 to s0 is 1 1 i have noted down all these things let us proceed one stage ahead with zero input we are going to proceed in the upwards direction and the corresponding output is 0 1 this i am going to note it in the encoded output here this 0 1 i am going to write it down here similarly i want to get two more bits for that reason i am going to take one more dash dash means to say a zero here so since it is a zero we are going to take the upper direction and this is the corresponding output which is equal to one one this one one i'm going to write it here as one one so look at this for the given message one zero zero one one we have the corresponding encoded output sequence as one 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 zero one 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 zero one zero one and one one which is of 14 bits the extension that we have drawn from here to here is called as the tail of the tree which is equal to the number of stages 